Can you solve this SATS question? Now, today's question is a long multiplication. We can see that 785 times 23. Now, one of the first things I want to do is it's laid it out nicely enough for us, but I want to add in a second ruler line because in a column or a grid method or long multiplication, what we're going to need to do is add at the end. Okay. Now, the first thing that I always remember in this situation is that I'm going to need my placeholder in zero for when I multiply by this 10 number. Okay. So as I'm multiplying by three here, that's going to populate this row. And then when I multiply by the 20, that's going to populate this row. And then we can add them together. So the, let's go through it. So the first one is three times five. Three times five is 15. So we put the five in, carry the one. Three times eight is 24. Add the one is 25, so we'd put the 5 in, carry the 2. 3 times 7 is 21, add the 2 is 23. So we put the 3 in, and then the 2, as there's nothing else to do there. Then again, because we're now we're multiplying by 20 with this number 2, we've got our placeholder in 0 here, and then we can carry out the calculation. 2 times 5 is 10, so we'd put a 0 in, carry the 1. 2 times 8 is 16, add the 1 is 17, carry the 1. And then 2 times 7 is 14, add the 1 is 15. Essentially carry the 1, but there's nothing else to do. And then at that point, we can carry out an addition. 5 add 0 is 5, 5 add 0 is 5, 3 add 7 is 10, carry the 1. 2 add 5 is 6, add the 1 is 8, and then that 1 is just going to drop down. And if we had an answer box down at the bottom, that answer would need transferring in there. And that's another SATS question solved.